were six hives there. A lot of them were requeened this year, so they're new, new queens, which to me is like the bomb versus a two-year-old queen or even older. It, it proves in the pudding. So some of these had four supers on each hive. Some of them had a super and a half. So out of six hives, there was 15 supers minus the uh, comb honey box. So this is a newly designed uh, piece of equipment this year. It's a Cowan uncapper. It's still kind of in its infant stages with us, and we're on the big time learning curve. But uh, Bob Flinchbaugh and I kind of designed the stand and everything that the uh, super sets in to kind of allow the frames to pop up. And it's a uh, it's a closed circuit or closed unit water heated system so the knives are sharp as well as heated and they are hot. So it, it kind of eases the cappings off of the frames a little bit, a little bit better. Take a, take a box, set it in there, frames automatically pop up which eases the uh, ability to get the frames out. It'll actually do nine frames a minute. 60 supers an hour, you can keep up with it. Things don't get damned. adjustment and if that's the case you just get out the uncapping knife do a little manual work on it which is still easier than the old way and down in the 20 frame extractor pick up the next one Actually, if you got two or three people here, you can make the process go a little bit quicker. Looks pretty good. And when they come out of the extractor, then you'll see where you might have missed the spots. If that's the case, and run it back through. tendency to smash down the cells rather than like with the electric knife itself doing it manually that uh, it, it seems like it cuts them off a little bit better it's kind of what I'm seeing about it but it still beats uh, the old traditional way of having to cut them off not to mention we could usually do about 14 supers a day from start to finish and that was a long day at that uh, now we can run Gosh, I don't know, probably 30, 40 supers in a day through here. Things 
fall down into a basket here. Looks good. And I think we need one more after this one. And we are complete with 20 frames. Start out pretty slow. Sometimes it can be a, like a washing machine. Get off balanced if uh, maybe you've got a couple of light frames. Slowly bring it up to speed. This is a radial extractor, which means you don't have to turn the frames around. It's spinning the honey out both sides of the frames. Centrifugal force forces out the honey, goes around on the inside of the tank. Gravity feed goes down to the spout and into a coarse grain bucket filter. This is the first filtering that it goes through, which will grab a lot of the comb that might still be on the frame itself any bee legs that happen to get in there or foreign material that you don't exactly want. That pretty well takes care of all that. How fast does it go? I wouldn't even have an idea how fast it's going. I just have done it enough. I know where to slow it down or, or stop it, especially if it gets to walking across the floor. But about 20 minutes, 20 minutes at uh, a whack and we'll probably pretty well take care of it. And that's our liquid gold coming out of there. This year's honey seems to have a, a little bit darker color to it. And that's strictly up to what Mother Nature's flowers and floral source has for it. But because there's so many supers that are all blended together, then you have kind of a mixture of everything, light with dark. It's a little darker than what I've had in the past. I really kind of like that amber color. It seems to be more appealing to the consumer. But uh, there's an easy way to promote the darker honey. Uh, your darker honeys always have a tendency to have more antioxidants in it. And anybody that knows their honey, that that's exactly what they're looking for is more antioxidants. And I always give a money back guarantee. If you don't like your honey, bring it back. And in 20 years, I've had one person bring a quart of honey back, but it did not appeal to their taste. And I replaced their money. itself to make sure that it's okay to bottle. This a little too thick version of a sample on there. Case for the palate. Trying to get an idea here what we're dealing with as far as moisture. And actually this is probably one of the better moisture readings we've had in doing a lot of honey today. We're running about 18.5 which is uh, getting very close to what we would might say we could bottle it with. We've got the dehumidifier running as well as the air conditioner in here. That will lessen the uh, moisture content in the honey. Generally around 17%, 17 and a half is what we're really dealing with that we want to use it to bottle. Otherwise we keep it in here, keep a fan going, the air conditioner, dehumidifier, etc., And that will probably reduce it if we just had one bucket in here, it would probably reduce it a half a percent real quick, which is huge. But since there's so much in here that hasn't tested, uh, it's really running high anywhere from 18.5 to 20 percent. 
then it's going to take it longer, obviously, for the quantity that we're dealing with in here. So by next weekend, I'd say that we're probably going to be able to bottle some of this and, and move it and get some customers satisfied and happy.